One of the things that's really upsetting to our board as a governing body is under the right to coordinate. You're required to provide us early notification. So that's notification prior to public notice. You're giving us an after the fact report. That's not how coordination is supposed to work. Much of the land that makes up Jackson County is forest. And that means that good management is essential to maintaining a safe and healthy environment. On national forest lands, the BLM is responsible for this maintenance, and typically they collaborate closely with the local Jackson County government. However, communication between the two can sometimes be dynamic, like at this recent presentation by BLM officials to the Jackson County Board of Commissioners. This is our last slide, and we want to take the opportunity to thank you for inviting us to provide an update today. As always, you can find information about our projects on e-planning. The site is on the slide. First of all, thank you for being here today and for providing us all of this information. It's a lot of information. My purpose in making the comments is maybe to take it a little bit uh, deeper um, than the presentation today. And I'm assuming everyone on this call understands that there are numerous federal statutes that provide for coordination of federal land and environmental actions with affected local governments. Jackson County has adopted an ordinance demanding our right to coordination. Many of the things that you mentioned here today um, fall within the categories of uh, requirements for coordination, not all of them, but many of them. And I do want to just point out that coordination is just not cooperation or consultation. Uh, BLM <clears throat> um, has offered the county uh, cooperating agency status, and we've declined that because BLM put into the agreement that uh, becoming a cooperating agency status would fulfill the obligations of BLM to coordinate with the county, and we disagree that those two are the same thing. What I want to point out here is that the county has been somewhat disappointed by the fact that we didn't even know there was a leadership change at BLM until we reached out. Um, uh, Elizabeth Burkhardt, I believe, has been gone for several months, um, and no one had contacted us regarding uh, coordinating on any of the actions that have been mentioned here today. I do want to point out that under coordination, uh, the agency, meaning BLM, uh, shall keep apprised of state, local, and tribal land use plans. Um, I don't know when the last time you engaged us about any of our land use plans was, but we have had updates to our land use plans that will affect some of your planning that you haven't coordinated with us on. Um, you're supposed to assure that consideration is given to our local plans when you're developing a federal plan, policy, or management action, all of which you mentioned today, and all of which we're not aware that you've considered our local plans. One of the things that's really upsetting to our board as a governing body is under the right to coordinate. You're required to provide us early notification, so that's notification prior to public notice to the local government of the development of any plan, policy, or action. That didn't happen, and it hadn't happened for the things that you mentioned here today that are plan, policy, or actions. Um, you're giving us an after-the-fact report. That's not how coordination is supposed to work. And the reason for that is that you're supposed to provide a meaningful opportunity for input from local government into the development of those plan, policies, or actions. You're also supposed to make all uh, practical efforts to resolve conflict between federal and local policy and reach consistency. So we've met our requirements. We have passed a resolution in our county saying that we're exercising our rights to coordination to the full extent of the law. We've prepared a policy document um, for which the uh, federal agencies must coordinate. We've provided that to you and all other federal agencies. Looking back on these things, you have taken actions by which the county has had no prior notice and no input into the planning process. And I just want you to know that that's very disappointing. Everything you presented here today is great. We're, you know, it's, it's movement forward. You're doing a lot of good, positive things, but you're leaving out the county's involvement it, it, given our right to coordinate. And uh, I don't mean to be a downer on your presentation, but 
you know, we have to reiterate this, especially when we have new people sitting in front of us and we've had changes because it doesn't appear like those conversations that we've had with past uh, representatives have made it through to the actions that you're here describing that you're taking today. And I, I don't know if you want to offer anything to the county in response to what I just said. I know it was a lot, but, you know, we sometimes feel like we're just a record on repeat and not being heard. And uh, we want to be heard. We want to have a partnership with you that uh, involves coordination. And as I said, not just cooperating agency status or consultation. Thank you. Jennifer, would, would you like to respond or anybody would like to respond before I pass it on to the other uh, uh, commissioners? I heard you. Um, I'm in this detail for another few weeks and Elizabeth will be back. So I'll pass on your concerns and I, yeah, thank you. So can you explain to us what's going on? Because Elizabeth told us she was no longer serving in this role. And now I just heard you say she's coming back. We haven't been made aware of that either. She's on, she's on a detail and I'm on a detail to fill in behind her. So she gets back in mid February. Okay. okay. 